Hi there, welcome to the practice questions on being able to find the circumference of a circle using c equals 2 pi r or c equals pi d. Now what I'd like you to do is to pause the video now and have a go at these four questions and then when you're happy with your answers then restart the video and go through the model answers with me. So if we pause the video now and have a go at questions 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, welcome back. Let's now go through these answers together. Question one then. We've got the diameter of a circle and we need to find the circumference. Now if we know the diameter, we're going to use the second of these formulas here, c equals pi d. And all we do is, if we write this down, c equals pi d, which means c equals pi times d. We don't write the times when we're using the algebraic expressions like this. So it's a case now of replacing our letters here with the values that we know. Now we know pi, we press the pi button on our calculator. Um, well pi is 3.14 and we times this by our diameter which is 18. So if we type that into the calculator, pi times 18 equals, and we get the answer for the circumference as 56.54866. It continues on, and it wants this, uh, we're going to round this to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, this is going to be 56.5 centimetres. Question two then. Same thing this time, only we've got a diameter of 14. So we're going to type in the circumference equals, well, press our pi button and times that by 14. And that this time is going to give us an answer of 43.98, 43.98, that answer continues on the calculator and that rounded now to one decimal place, well 43.9, look at the next number, it's an 8 which takes the 9 up to 10, this can't go up to 10 so we need to round up the number in front of that which gives us an answer of 44 centimetres. Question three then. Well this time we've got the radius here. Now we can use the first formula, c equals 2 pi r. Alternatively you could just double the radius to give you the diameter and then put it into the second formula here. I'm going to use the first one to show you. So we write down c equals 2 and this means times pi times r, replacing the times that we don't have to show in algebraic expressions. We type that in our calculator, c equals 2 pi r is going to give us a value of 69.11503, it continues on, and if we round this one now to one decimal place, we're going to get 69.11503. Centimeters. Last one then. Um, this time again we've got a radius of 13. I'm going to put it, I'm going to double this and put it in our first formula now. So I'm going to use c equals pi d, c equals pi times d. I now know that d is not 13, that's the radius, the diameter is 26. So I'm going to type in my calculator c equals. Uh, sorry, pi, 3.14, times 26. And that's going to give us now an answer on our calculator of 81.6, 81.68 we get, which rounds to circumference equals 81.7. Centimeters.